Hey guys, I am uh, thought I would just do a little impromptu bit of streaming here, uh, do a little, uh, some of the, what's going to be for me anyway, necessary grinding on Symphony of the Night. I know some people that were in the stream last night were wanting to see me uh, actually get to the inverted castle, and uh, I am playing so badly that I think I'm going to... Uh, need to do some actual grinding if I'm going to ever get to the Inverted Castle. So, I didn't announce that I was going on, so I doubt anyone will be viewing, but I also didn't set it to save my broadcast to my channel last night, so no one could see my, ch my uh, broadcast from last night. So I thought, well, I'll do it again in this one. I'll set the save. So if you're watching, welcome. Uh, if you're looking for a donate button, I'm not going to do that. I'm not really interested in making money on Twitch. I might see if I can get a charity one set up uh, if anyone's interested in that. Maybe let me know if you uh, know how to contact me. Because I don't know anyway if you have any messages here. So I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I'm going to go this way and just do some killing. I'm going to turn down the volume just a bit. Because that is loud. Alright. I don't know how it sounds on, this, on the stream, but it's loud on my TV. Yes, the spirit can't hit them if they're not on screen. Alright, well, that was kind of pointless, but I just wanted to play around that. It's just a single point. question is how I'm not killing them. There we go. All right. So anyway, I'm going to just kind of run around killing enemies, pick up some experience. I feel like, ah, uh, messed up. I feel like there is a disc ward near the entrance that will drop, a, that has a chance of dropping a jewel sword, but I have not seen any disc wards yet. So I may maybe in the inverted castle I'm thinking of. What turned out to be completely useless. It was, uh, I think, a cloth tunic. Or no, it was a cloth cape. And as you can see, I'm wearing the crystal. Well, you might be able to see that I'm wearing the crystal cape.
I feel like I should be doing enough damage to not have to hit them twice. So if you have an axe, this is really easy to get him to, to get the bloody skeleton to go on there. If you have an axe, it's really easy. But I don't. But I also have already been up there. I don't really need to do it. So I think. Oh no, I think that one is blocked. That area is blocked. And I can't remember if it's blocked by a. Somebody is doing crazy. Welcome. Right now, I am trying to summon my spirit and get it to kill that bloody skeleton while I'm on the own. And he killed it right as he walked off the switch. So yeah, if you don't have an axe, that's probably the easiest way to do this. I say easy. It's hardly easy, but you can also just wait till you get double jump, and then you can do it there. Ah, oh, there it goes. Yeah, that was a triumphant moment. Oh, that's right. And I can't go through there anyway. I was thinking that maybe that was a blue door since I got the uh, gem of opening recently, but it is not. Oh, three viewers. Wow. Welcome, everybody. Right now, um, I am just kind of grinding for experience a little bit because I'm just uh, the next boss I have to fight is one that I'm not particularly good at. So I wanted to, uh, it's the uh, Griffin boss, and I'm not particularly good at the Griffin, so I wanted to get a, a little bit of levels. Maybe buy a better sword in the library. Speaking of things I'm not good at, this guy ruins me with the fire. There we go. So if you saw how I was dashing there, that's called shield dashing. It's a really basic maneuver 
uh, where you just um, are hitting the shield button and then releasing it as you dash, or right after you dash, I should say. And uh, it, um, when you dash, there's a little bit of a cooldown basically after it where you can't move. But if you have the, if you pop out the shield as you do it, then it cancels that um, frozen moment there. Oh, the ghosts sound like wolves. Alright, let's see all the ghosts. Also notice if you attack right as you oops, I shouldn't give advice for me a second. Ah. If you attack right before you land from a jump, then you immediately get to attack again. Because again, you see that's as fast as I can attack normally. But if I jump and attack, then I can do it. I can also uh, attack immediately at the end of a dash, the same way I can use the shield. wandering around killing things to do experience so it's a little boring but you might want to find a saber yeah your saber will come up creepy dolls Stockings. Bone bananas. And there's a save point right up here after another bone throw another banana thrower and another banana thrower and then I think there's a poltergeist in the save point. Yeah, poltergeist. Or Ouija table. Safety save. See how much time I have left, or how much experience I have left to level. Hmm. Not a lot. Not only did a single experience too. Of course, I'm a kind of like a beginning portion of the game. And my least favorite enemy in any Castlevania game ever, Fleeman. A lot of people don't like the Medusa heads. The Medusa heads are at least predictable. That's my, my point of view. Of course, there is a pattern to the Fleeman as well. But I'm not good at predicting it. It's like I'm not good at avoiding being hit by the uh, Ouija table. because you'll get a better sword eventually just from drops as you get into more advanced parts of the castle, but... 
Not the right one in here. It was just a switch. Or am I going the right direction? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, the Damascus Sword won't like increase my damage that much, but I like it. And it's, uh, I've got plenty of gold for it, so. That or I can buy some more. I can also buy some more potions, because like I said, I'm not doing so hot with the combat. stone flower here. This little further ahead. Ah. Speed of the devil. The annoying plant. So they actually, we saw it had like that beak. When the beak is closed, they take half damage, I think, so. But also get stunned by your hits. But if their beak was open, I could hit kill them right there. Well, no, I don't. Do I want the axe? No. I like axe is a good sub weapon, but I prefer the holy one. Nobody's watching at the moment. That's okay though. Just grinding, grinding, grinding. I could just get the charge down. trying to do but you gotta do it just right. You go up the stairs with the the dog loop you should be able to get that right there. Oh almost had it. Hey I got it. Just a garnet, but still. Okay, let's head up to the library. Doppelganger for the first time. First doppelganger fight. Do I want to go up one level? There we go. Now there should be straight across. I think that guy always drops a hundred gold too. If there is a faster way in and out, that'd be a good little gold farming spot. Those guys always give me, but they also only do one damage. There you go, so I pulled off that fast attack thing I was talking about. 
You see, you can come here. Maybe it's a fast little experience in 25 gold thing. Well, it's not that fast. It's only fast if you do it right. There we go. And occasionally you get something else. I think these guys can drop, uh, I think they can drop swords also. Like, just like short swords. Which is funny because they're not using short swords, they're using rapiers. Oh, they're giving me nine experience per also. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and progress to the library a little bit instead. Go to the library. I'll show you something else for those who have never played. Oh, well, I say I will. If I could get the uh, the wolf charge going correctly, then this is a really easy room with the wolf charge. You just fly through as a wolf and murder everything. Of course, if you're better at predicting Fleeman, then you just do it normally. But. So. I'm going to just cheese it with a uh, whole lot oh, no, there you go. She's with the spirit, she said. And we can do that reliably. If only I could get. I don't. The wolf charge is such a simple maneuver. But anyway, so once you gain the ability to go up there, I think there's a cheat. There's a, a way to glitch it, but the the way you're intended to do it is as a bat. You fly up there, then um, you go. You land under the bar. Uh, under the librarian. And he has uh, a um, health max up under his uh, seat, I think. That's what it is. Uh, so, anyway. Cross. Not as good as what I'm currently wearing, but. Alright. That looks like it. Oh, curse dudes. Don't curse me. There you go. curse potions, which is nice. It's something that they curse you if they hit you. They're actually, though, if you're just running through here, they're not really that bad, because they curse you, but they don't do any damage, so. Well, they do damage, but they do one damage. They don't do any significant damage, I should say. I can't remember if you can, you should be able to get up here at the wall. Again, if I could get his charge right. See, I'm good as... Oh, I've been doing his charge wrong. It's just double tap like you're playing Richter. Now I feel really dumb.
jump too slow. Or jump too late. normal jump. This is his high jump. And then there's a there's a boosted jump. You're not supposed to be able to get up there until you get the uh, the uh, double the double jump boots, but anyway, that's fine. You can the uh, boost jump with the wolf if you're good, better than me. Anyway. All right, here's the library. What can I do for you? Sell some gems, sell some zircons, aquamarine, sell you a garnet. Woo! Garnets are nice. Alright, and let's pack this. Is this just he tells me how to do things? I don't remember that. Alright, enemy list. Don't let me don't tell me about them. Oh, it's just enemies that I've done. It's too bad you can't just do that in the menu like you can in other things. Let's see, the library card teleports you to the library, right? So, Alright, so the saber would up my attack to 23 while lowering my defense to 10. Damascus sword would up it to 24 and lower it to 10. I'm guessing because I can't hold a shield with it. Is that good? Reverse cloak. Oops. Diamond plate increases my doubles my defense. That would be nice. It's twelve thousand. That would take quite a bit of little grinding to get. Of course, there's the Joseph's cloak, which increases your con. There's the metal, which I can afford now, but up my defense and my attack by one. That's not a big deal, but that would be three thousand. And compared to that, the circlet would lower the dot. Would just increase my intelligence. Well, the hat would be, yeah. What was I looking at? The Damascus sword would up my attack by seven. Hello, viewer. Would, would lower my defense by ten. And we'll go with the Damascus sword. Let's do it. Thank you. Farewell for now. Alright, so I could very slowly grind 7,000 gold to, uh, to get the uh, diamond plate, but I think it's kind of silly. But it definitely would be useful. I'm not going to, by the way, sit here and grind uh, 7,000 gold 25 at a time. I'm just getting a little bit of gold here. This is simple. This is just like the easiest place in the world to get gold. To get it fast, I mean. It's not actually, there's some other places that are pretty good. But if I go down to the catacombs, there is a place where it reliably drops a hundred gold right next to an exit. So that's really would make more sense to go there. If I'm just wanting to cheesily uh, grind gold like that. I said at 25 each. Or is a hundred. So it'd be 280 drops to get the diamond plate at this rate versus 70 drops if I go to the other place. And then I can library card directly back to him and buy it. And then of course I'll probably find a better chest plate almost right away. But yeah, it's uh, when the first time I played this, I don't know, I, I, uh, I played it on the PSP. I don't know if maybe I just better at that. I don't know why I would be better at that, but I feel like this time around, 
and it has been a few years since I played something and I feels like this time around I'm just uh my combat wise I'm just sucking. I uh, the bosses are ruining me. And the next boss is the Griffin, which I think is a fairly hard boss for as early in the game as it is. I mean it's not as hard as some later bosses obviously, but um Though I do, I, if I, there are some spells I could do that would help a bit. Oh yeah, that was a, about a thousand in the like minute, in a couple of minutes I've been doing that, but now I'm gonna go somewhere else to get gold. I uh, have to be honest, I can't remember where to go for a bunch of stuff. See what I'm talking about with the. Jesus. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah, so now I'm killing those guys with two hits, so that's nice. Libraries books are still paying uh, spell books are still paying to get set. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there's a hundred right there. If only there is a loading area. The place I was thinking of drops too could be a drops of gold, a green bag. I'm pretty sure. It's right when you fall into the things, you have to not fall, basically. The under the water passageway, so I'm thinking. You know, so I'm gonna try to head there and see if I can more reliably gold farm. Let's see how I do with these other possums. I just haven't done that one. I wanted to see where it goes. Might be useful against the uh, Griffin, actually. Well, my one viewer, I hope you're enjoying watching me slowly, painstakingly, clumsily experience grind. Experience and cash grind, I should say. Let's see. Oh, I already got that. I already got that garnet. It's there. I got that. to a turkey or something.
Oh yeah. You heard the Hollow Knight grunt sounds. Now that was my uh, phone, which I forgot to take off sound. Oh yeah, forgot any mist. Yeah. So once you get mist, you can just pop through that grate, come back out, hundred gold. Come through the grate, pop back out, hundred gold over and over again. This one's a little slower, but there's 50 right there. But somebody wants my attention. I'll turn that on silent. Sorry about that. All right. So there's faster ways in this though, but that's not a bad thing. There's the hundred there. Oh yeah, this is how I did it before. This is a good one. Get 50, pop up here. Kill the Medusa and get the experience. Get that under there and then show dash 50. It's a reliable little 150 a pop gold farm. Of course, you gotta not be an idiot and miss the uh, Medusa. This is kind of boring, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to go to the uh, travel around a little bit. Mist to pass. I think I remember the first time playing this, like, Mist to pass, what on earth? Didn't think about him being able to turn into a cloud of mist, which is uh, super useful. All right, let's see how I do with the plants this time. Necessary. I just wanted to do it, but two hundred fifty. Like when they stop, I always for a second think that it's still alive. Um, don't like there's something. Oh, I already got it. There's an item in here I got. It. I think it was something really basic. To, no, no, it was the the the, di the uh, crystal cake, which I don't think actually gives me any benefits. It just looks cool. So I guess it's a benefit. Mm -hmm. Ouija tables always get me. Alright, so I want to go down that vertical shaft there. Which means I go up, left, down, down. Oh, 
I'm in a man. We're just doing a fight thing. I said we threw a holy water Molotov cocktail. I just like to short bash through those to practice. All right, let's see if I can. Um, all right, hold on first. I think there's a garnet up there, yeah, which I think I got it last night actually. It's a garnet or a zircon, which I no. There's the mag the magic uh, wolf leap. Got it. Ah, almost. Um, transforming too early. Way too late. There you go. I did not get it. There's a Zircon now, which is the least valuable of all the gems that you can sell to the librarian. Still. Time is it? It's 12:30. It's my, you know, I meant to auto hide my taskbar, but that's fine. Another place where you can just sit there and slowly farm gold 50 at a time. charge if you're going up a set of stairs you get this like crazy momentum that will launch you it's a neat little glitch and then if you're moving forward and you transform back into alucard it carries your momentum forward but yeah it won't you you immediately drop like a stone also so it's kind of a tricky little thing depending on where you're at like that one i did the aquamarine was kind of easy this one because of the ledge above me. I think it's kind of hard. Whoop, oh, see, it also ends up doing crazy stuff like that. I'm hitting that ledge. I'm hitting that landing above me. And that's what's causing it to. There it is. And it's just a heart. <laughs> oh, it's still cool. So there's a hundred right there, and there's four hundred right there. Oh, okay. I remember now. You have to be at bat to be able to find this reliably. So you can bat, fly across there, load. Fly back, hit the 400, fly back, and it's just, once you have the bat, it's super easy goal farming. Not that there's, there's actually some easier places though, to do it than that, but that's alright. Guess you have to be fully immersed for whatever you Oh, scimitar. I could have not bought the Damascus sword because I think the scimitar is almost as good. No, I mean, it was better than the Gladius, but it's not almost as good. Oh, the boomerang is really good, except that it's like, does it ever, does it come back to you? 
I'm going to use it on the Gryphon. I don't like to use the throw weapons anyway, so I'll use it on the Gryphon just to see if it comes back. And drop that. I was really disappointed. Um, this was the, yeah, I beat this boss and went inside, and it, the uh, reward was, I think, abandoned. I mean, you get the life max up for beating the boss also, but still. I like that boss. Uh, it's a woman riding a lion with a bunch of snake, uh, like eels, attacking you. It's a, kind of a nonsense boss. Very, very typical of the Ingevanius. So it's always just like, let's mash these random things together and make a thing, make a nightmare creature. No, I didn't go this way last time. I skipped by here. I swear daggers exist in Castle Hunter games just to piss you off. Also love that they made a Castlevania game for the PlayStation. And they're like, alright, we've got all these extra buttons, but let's still make you have to uh, press up and attack to use your sub weapons. Just so you accidentally use them every time you try to jump somewhere. Yay, life max up. It's a weird place for a life max up. It's like, it's not hard to get to. It doesn't look, it's not secret looking. And if you see me hitting the walls, there's actually not a lot of false walls in Symphony of the Night, but I just got finished playing Symphony of the Night's spiritual uh, successor from from Iga, um, from Igarashi, the creators of the night, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and uh, and that just feels like every other place you go to has a secret uh, wall that you can break. Secret wall, secret floor. I 100 percent of the map. I got it up to uh, 99.6 percent, and had to uh, look up the last couple because it was just random floor that I had to break. That there's no reason for me to think that there would be something breakable there. So, kind of gets me in the habit of when I'm playing any Eagle Mania that I uh, just start punching every like random ball. Hey, 250 right there. more gold needed for the uh, diamond plate, which probably don't really need need, but would definitely make that Gryphon boss a little easier to do. Not 
have been here. So I'll run across and save. I might just drop down and do it again. You know, I'm getting experience, I'm getting gold. That's kind of what I'm here for anyway today. Is just to kind of level up Alucard, get him some better gear before I go fight the Griffin boss. Even though the Griffin boss isn't that hard, but like I said, I've not been doing very well, so I could use all the help I can get. So we get 50 there. Hundred here, four hundred there, and if I just had the bat, then I could just fly. There's twenty-five here. And up this long stairwell. Twenty-five. would actually be kind of helpful here, but I prefer the holy water just in general. Ooh, that's four, uh, 250. Missile is another thing that I could, uh, when I'm playing against a Griffin boss, it's it's wasteful to use it on them, but it does make it easier. to head out to a family Christmas party here pretty soon, so I think I'm going to do one more circuit of this, save again, and then I'm going to call it a day. He just has a heart on that torch behind him. So there's a hundred, and then four hundred. I don't think there's something there. But I just can't wall jump. Igarashi says that he was not thinking of Metroid, Super Metroid at all whenever he made this game, which uh, I don't think is true. But um, I guess that is one piece of evidence in, in his favor is that there's no wall jumping. Like you would kind of think there would be. Of all the things Alucard can do, you would think wall jumping would be in there. Always drops 25. Sometimes also drops magic missile, but it always drops 25. And as soon as I get a bat, this is supposed to go up and go up on me. 400. And I always forget the axes right there. Hey, level up. I always 
I forgot, if you just jump to the side instead of jumping straight up, then those guys don't bother you as much. Where was it? Um, I'm going to do one more circuit. One more. Just one more. Just one more gold farming circuit. Oh, I actually almost have enough gold to buy that diamond plate after all. Maybe this is the circuit where I die to scrubs. Just... I love how he throws his sword out to the side as he's uh, falling like that. Just everything about this game is just so gorgeous. Alright, let's we'll see if I make the same mistakes this time as I have been every other time. So. He's going to drop 25. Oh, he dropped 50 that time. That's fancy. Oh, he dropped 25. Oh, don't lose really it. There we go. They dropped. Oh, he dropped 25 also. No, I didn't grab the uh, accent. That's nice. Two fifty. I think it always is two fifty there. Five. And if you're good at wolf charging, you can pop up and down this stairwell really fast also. Which I'm not super good at wolf charging. So. I'm going to do that one more time, then complete my circuit. because then I have to make the circuit again. All right. How much do I have? Oh, I have enough. Let's actually... Force me directly under the library, or is it just taking to the entrance of the library? No, oh, no, right in front of me. Awesome. What can I do for you? I'm All right, I'm gonna this. waste my money on diamond plate armor. <laughs> like you. 
I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell for now. All right. Wish there was somebody that would buy my worthless gear also. All right, so now I gotta get to a safe point without dying, which shouldn't be a problem, especially now that I'm wearing diamond. Man, I thought I was gonna get off for like 15 minutes and just gold farm a little bit. And instead it's been an hour. Appreciate uh, my my solitary viewer here hanging out and watching me. Again, that's not as reliable a gold farming method as uh, what what we were doing a second ago, but it's not bad. Nathaniel, don't just walk around the house calling for your mom. Just come in and find it. Streaming on Twitch, yeah. yeah. Don't come on the camera, you can say hi though. You can say hi. You just don't say this don't come on the camera. Yeah. No? You don't want to say hi? The sun's being shot, which is okay. We're actually about to leave, guys. Shield dash while you're first because you can't use your shield. That's okay. Oh, still cursed. There we go. I said I wasn't going to die before I saved, but I'm certainly doing everything I can to die. Alright, where's the nearest save point? Uh, one below me and to the left, and one up and to the also left. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me on my stream. Have a good one.